Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Martos. I'm Gerard, and this week we're going to talk about the traveling aficionado. But before I get going, I need you to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes on Mondays with Martos. All right, so this week we're going to talk about the traveling aficionado. The biggest thing for me when I travel and I want to make sure that I have my cigars with me is the actual cigars. I'm not so much concerned about my accessories, meaning lighter or cutter, especially with TSA. If I don't have any bags I'm checking in and I only have a carry-on, I don't want them to take away or throw away my very you know, expensive accessories. So therefore, I can always find a cutter at a cigar shop for $3.00. A lighter is always cheap. I can get matches. I can use campfire. I can use, you know, a big lighter. But what I cannot do is get my special coveted cigars that I like to have because not every single cigar shop carries every single cigar that I like. So therefore, if you are going to go on a trip, make sure that you kind of plan out if you like to have cigars for breakfast, how many days you're going to be there, bring enough cigars for that. So therefore, you don't go into the frustration of not having your favorite cigar within that time of the day. Now, having said that done, and you know exactly how long you're going to stay, is it a you know, long stay, it's going to be a short stay, you get the gist of that. Make sure you have the cigars you want and an ample amount of it. Now, when it comes to <clears throat> traveling with your cigars, there are two methods. You can either go with a soft method and system, meaning that it's a bag and you have Bovada. Bovada is our friend. They're a fantastic product. They work very, very well. You can get different relative humidity settings at 69% or 72%. And there you go. You can also get these ones. These are good for a year. The thickness of this plastic is at the perfect mill, so therefore it can last up to a year as a Bovada pack in there that's going to give you that amount of time for you to store your cigars and you can put like I don't know gosh a couple uh, hundred cigars in here maybe I could be wrong but it's a pretty big bag now if you definitely want to make sure that your cigars don't get crushed and you're going to be stuffing your uh, carry-on with a lot of stuff you can always go with something hard like this this is a cigar caddy it is totally submersible um, not too deep, don't get carried away, but it does have a seal on it. So therefore, if you put a Bovada pack in there and you put your cigars in there, it's gonna have that seal in there. So therefore, your cigars are going to be protected. And then if you wanna go even bigger, we got this mega one right here. This is good for uh, 60 cigars if you leave the foam trays in there. So, but what I do is I take out all the foam trays um, and if I want to stack this with a lot of cigars, I can always go ahead and do that. And therefore it's also going to be uh, submersible and it's totally sealed. And this is pretty much crush proof. Um, and it does have a lifetime warranty through Zycar. So I do like this with me. I can always take it in my hand and that is going to really, really set me up for a good travel, having the right cigars that I want to smoke. And then if I do bring anything with me, bring things back with me, I have some room to do that. Anyways, let me know in the comments how you travel, what is important to you. Um, as you can tell by this video, to me, it's the actual cigars and not so much the accessories. So let me know in the comments, but before I get going, remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys. Thank you.